Yo, what's up, Swag? And you already know what time it is, man. It's your boy, Keon Lauren, aka L Swag. With a video, man. I'm sorry, you guys. This is the late upload or whatever, like that, man. I am sorry, but I thought about it. I said, man, I still gotta drop content for y'all, bro. I still gotta drop something, bro. Y'all know if I miss three to four or five days, bro, maybe even two days, bro, it's something going on, bro. If I haven't posted in two to three or four days, bro, um, or whatever, like that, a day, yeah, but usually I'm always posting every day, but if I'm not posting two to three days, if I've been posted in three days or two days or whatever like that, there's something going on. All right, so now, man, we're back here again with another Debo Highlights, man. Look, bro, um, this Eagles team is damn near a Georgia team now. They're damn near a Georgia team. They are freaking getting all the dogs from Georgia, bro. The one thing I'm going to say about this before I even start the video, you guys, is that I really, really think this team going to probably be fired, bro. They getting all the Georgia dudes. Now, I ain't going to lie to you. If this team do not turn out good, that defense, because they got hella defensive players, if that defense do not turn out good, I put it on the Georgia players. Y'all basically just good-ass college players. Y'all basically just good-ass college players because you can't do it in the league. You know, you can't handle that pressure when you go up to the next level. But look, man, we're going to find out this season, man. But let's get into it, man. So you got the you got the Nola Smith. You got the, the corner. They, um, they signed the corner, Keelan Rico. He didn't really do too much the other season. But two seasons ago, he went crazy. Jalen Carter. Okay. Got a whole Georgia team, bro. Whole Georgia team. Nola Smith is crazy. He literally played at IMG, you guys. He literally played at he played at IMG. I think we was in the same class in high school. That's oh yeah, that's the Ringo dude. They getting their helmets right. Getting a feeling of their helmet. I can't believe how they Bro, they, they already got that big-ass D-tackle. They got Nolan Smith, Keelan Rango. They got Jalen Carter. They got um N'Kobe Dean. He was one of my favorite linebackers in, in college, bro. N'Kobe Dean literally went viral for getting on his, uh, on his teammate because his teammate messed up on the coverage. Like, bro, N'Kobe Dean is young right now, so I don't expect him to start over any dude right now. But that dude is different, bro. He's a baller. Like Nicobe D is gonna really is gonna do big things, bro. I got real high high expectations for for Nicobe Dean. God damn. I can't wait to watch Nicobe Dean play. I think he played a little bit, but he didn't play as much. Great linebacker. Okay, that's the DB, Keelan Ringo. Ringo, saying his name wrong. Y'all know I can't read. <laughs> I'm just playing, y'all. I always pronounce the names wrong, though. That mini cap, I ain't gonna lie to you, man. I'm gonna tell you guys this. That mini cap would be really, really bad if you do not do cardio. I'm gonna tell you that now. If you don't, if, if they... If they if those dudes is not working out, if they wasn't working out, you guys, that will kill them. Cause you're doing non-stop, non-stop drills, non-stop drills. I can go to the rookie mini count right now, you guys. And I wouldn't be tired or be visible or anything like that because I do cardio. Like those drills suck though. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. And you showing the coaches how you move and everything. You basically showing them why, why, um, why they drafted you. That's a great drill right there. Okay, okay. And my thing is, you guys, I'm gonna keep going and keep working. You guys, I'm gonna keep going and keep working because I want to be able to go to mini camps and work out. Look, he just dropped the ball. Uh, I want to be able to go to mini camps. 
Miami, you know, mini camp, the, you know, um, Patriots, just any mini camp, and um, work out, you know, work out with the team, you know, become the team. I want to do stuff like that and film and stuff like that. Like, uh, it's, it's a lot of stuff that I want to do, you guys. David Carter, the big dude. Just let them know that you really want to be a part of this. Is that is that right? And can you kind of just walk us through, you know, that call? No, I don't. I, I can't remember if I called anybody. But no, I didn't call nobody. I don't know. It's been smooth. It's all very loving. Uh, everybody want to see everybody do good, and it's just been a good moment. Um, transitioning from you know college to NFL professional, and um, it's just off the field. And we gonna you see, know. man. This big Georgia team. Lines to just simple pass rush things from simple stances. So, yeah, you can say I love Coach Wash, man. He get me right as far as, like, my lines, my aiming points, and just, you know, he coaching me how I want to be coached. I learned a lot from, you know, him being at the Bears and how he was going to use me as far as how they rush guys and, you know, how they do different things and use, you know, smaller backers like me to just do certain things and show different disguises. So I just can't wait. Um, he's a great Great coach, and he's real patient. You know, I love patient coaches. Personally, we all have the same goal. I want to see him be able to achieve our dreams. I want to see what he going to do. Yeah, he played corner, so corner. It's a little other. different. And of course, being, being on the back end, as you mentioned, and guys like Sydney as well, and he's a smart, bright guy. And um, I, I feel like when you have those type of guys around you. The crazy thing about this, too, you guys, is that they both on, they both was on the same team. Now they play, with, now they play in the NFL. Now, I don't know their relationship. You guys, but I'm going to say this. If I'm on, if I went up to the next level um, with a whole different um, team or whatever like that, I feel a little weird. You know, you're going to meet everybody, but bro, you're going, you're going on an NFL team. You're getting signed by an NFL team with your peers, bro, with dudes that you play with, your teammates. Like, that's nice, bro. They're definitely, I guess, going to be successful. So, the things that, that made me who I am. Honestly, you know, just continue to build on things like that. But I definitely would say that just just being one of the younger guys on, the, on that um, elite defense and being able to contribute, honestly. So that's really the big thing that that um, I, I, try, I try to pride myself in is being able to contribute the best way that I can with my team. And I feel like I was able to do that in that moment. So it was a pretty good feeling. Shout out to that boy Devo highlights, man. Cause we would not be able to react to this while wow, that man Devo highlights, man. Hey, shout out to him, man. I see y'all. Fourteen.